was diagnosed with major depression, and I was told it takes about two and a half years to recover from this, uh, which when you're, when you're diagnosed with depression is the last thing you want to hear. Uh, this is be a picture of kind of where I was at that point in my life. So like a lot of people with depression, I started asking myself some tough questions. Why are you here? So this is the question I asked myself, and it's this kind of crazy, broad, uh, difficult to understand question that's, uh, I mean, how could you ever come up with, a question, with an answer for this? Uh, but this is, what, this is what I did. I said, okay, I'm gonna approach this from a novel way. I'm gonna take this gigantic question, I'm gonna give it a very specific answer. Um, I chose a very specific answer, so I'm gonna create a life list. It's about 150 things I wanna do. I'm gonna give myself a very specific deadline. So I gave myself a deadline of May 25th, 2017. It's a totally arbitrary, there's like nothing that happens that day, it's just I picked it. Uh, and then they got that tattooed on me, and I got started. So I made the purpose of my life the reason that I'm here, not just at TED, but in general, uh, to finish this life list. So I started small and local. First thing I did is go to a barber shop, and I got one of those uh, straight razor shaves. Uh, tur <laughs> turns out they cost about the same as just a normal thing, and it was kind of fun. Um, and then I quickly realized that I should probably do something more practical. So I took a cooking class. So there's one in University Village you can take. It's very inexpensive and really helpful. And this was interesting. I started to gain a little bit of momentum. I was starting to overcome inertia. The next thing I did was start it on myself, which is a great place to start, right, if you're, if you're trying to do this. So I got into meditation. I started working on my head. I started to try to figure out the problems up in here, which I'm still working on, uh, but I made a little bit of progress. I then started running, started working on my body. Uh, like I mentioned, I was overweight, and I started to tackle that. Next, I involved my friends and my family. And this, this made a big difference. This is my mom, uh, up, uh, both of us up in Alaska. Um, uh, going to hit 50 states this year, so this was one of the harder ones. I next made a little bit more of a leap, and I went to Egypt with my little sister. This is my sister, Jessica. With their support, I really started to gain momentum. So this is, uh, I, I reached all my weight loss goals. This is uh, my, I lost, I think, 70 pounds or something like that. This is back in my high school weight. This is also a very helpful uh, Apple commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I then uh, started, started to run a lot. I really got into this. This is me completing a marathon. Uh, before I started training for this, I hadn't run more than like to pick up the phone. <laughs> uh, so this was, this was a lot farther. Uh, when money got low, as, as it did, uh, I picked a new job. I used to do um, other things, and then I got a job that worked for my purpose. Uh, so I sat down and I taught myself Ruby, which is a programming language. And I taught myself online marketing, which is uh, those two things are what I'm doing today. Uh, I started teaching, started giving lectures. This is, uh, I'm giving a lecture at uh, Yale in that picture. Uh, I cut expenses, I donated all but 100 of my belongings, and I moved to Buenos Aires. So <laughs> at this point, I, I kind of took a little leap there, right? Uh, this is me in Buenos Aires. Um, this is, by weird happenstance, starring in a commercial in, in Argentina. Uh, <laughs> It, it turns out that when you start telling the story of making this my absolute purpose, that people start offering up couches and advice and uh, places in commercials. <laughs> uh, this is me going to uh, Belize, which was a country I'd never heard of. Uh, I went to the airport, I got a ticket to a place I'd never heard of, and just figured it had good beaches, which turned out to be right. Uh, and eventually I ended up moving to Spain after this, so I moved to Barcelona, which is still my favorite place on the planet. Then I really unleashed. Then I really got excited. <laughs> Uh, this is me sneaking into Cuba, uh, unless you work for the government, in which case I didn't do that. This is uh, me going to Easter Island, which is the most remote, uninhabited place in the entire planet. I believe it's about 3,000 miles away from its nearest neighbor. This is me summoning Rainier. This is me at a, what I consider to be the greatest party in the world. This is Queen's Day in Amsterdam. This is me um, bungee jumping. I also did skydiving. Uh, this is me in Carnival um, in, in Rio. Uh, this is me learning how to fly. Uh, this is me publishing a book that eventually became a bestseller, uh, which has nothing to do with my life list. It's about marketing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what, um, today I'm 80% done. I get to have this really cool graphic of all the places I've been. It looks like a virus taking over the world, which I'm very excited about. Uh, it's like a zombie apocalypse. And all of this started with just one simple question, the question of why are you here? This, I believe, is the single most important question that you can ask yourself. What I found is kind of a, in a cosmic humor kind of way, the answer really doesn't make a difference at all. Uh, what makes a difference is making that decision 
and fully and uninhibitedly committing yourself to it, really making this your purpose, diving in head first and really digging into that. And it was that realization of the answer doesn't matter, it's not that big of a deal, it's a broad question, and really just committing myself to it, that is what forever changed how I view myself and my potential. It was, it was that decision there that made me happy again. Thank you. Hey, wait, wait, don't leave yet. He looks nervous. I am nervous. <laughs> the tattoo. The tattoo. Where is it? It's. Can uh, we see it? Uh, it's on my butt. So. 